Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack 33 I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, part number 100. That's right, 100 parts of Tales of the Abyss. To be honest, this project should have been finished a long time ago. I started it back in December 3rd, 2010. So, it's coming up to its 4 year anniversary since I started it. Why am I still playing this game, you're asking? And the question, and the reason is, I don't really know. Like, I should I honestly should have had this finished, like, like I said, time ago. But it just never happened. I just got busy with stuff. And uh, I don't really want to fight you. Deuce. What's that? Ooh, that's a new spear for Jade. Nice. Oh, it's a crappy spear for Jade. Not nice. <laughs> but yeah, I should have had this finished a long time ago. Back when I did this in 2010, I believe there was like a YouTube time limit of 15 minutes, which was a relatively new thing. And then around the time I did end up starting it, um, it ended? I, I want to say that was a thing, but it's been so long, I honestly don't even remember at this point. But um, there's a lot that's going to be happening in this part. We got a boss fight that's going to happen in this part, as well as some very important story. So uh, I hope you're excited, but we got some boss fight coming up right now. Careful! Here it comes! Wait for an opening, then attack! Now, let's go! Alright, so this here is the Fur Bronk, Fire Bronk. Um, I changed my party formation here. You'll notice I have Guy, Tyr, Natalia, and Jade. No Luke. I also put on uh, classic costumes here to kind of like commemorate this 100th video. Uh, so he's weak to water, um, so I need to change up Jade's magic, so we'll have him using his new spell here, Absolute, because his water damage is the strongest water spell. But basically, I'm not going to be doing too much damage with um, two melee users. So I got uh, just one here, and I got I got Natalia here for extra healing, uh, but she does get uh, this here, so she's going to use some Mystic Art. Might as well use that Astral Rain. Make it rain! Uh, not really a lot of damage. But you know what we can make her use uh, is Scare Shot, which reduces this guy's defense. Uh, so that would be a useful skill. But you want to take your time with this guy, because uh, he can hurt for a lot of damage here. So I'm trying to like just kind of interrupt him here. Uh, Guy's Mystic Art, I wouldn't even recommend using it because it doesn't even do that much damage. So I'm just going to use his over limit just to kind of as an excuse to lower the amount of damage he's taken here. And actually, I haven't used Guy in so long, but he has uh, Sword Rain now, right? Sword Rain Alpha? I'm probably not going to be using Void Tempest that much. Just because Sword Rain Alpha. I love Sword Rain Alpha. All right. But yeah, like, Overlimit obviously reduces damage a lot, so it's better just to let it run out with Guy and just kind of take advantage of it as much as you can here. And get that Sword Rain Alpha in. Yeah. So nice. Actually, oh, I don't have it anymore, do I? Yeah, I sold it. The Vorpal Sword actually would have been really nice here, now I'm thinking about it. Because I think it only has just a little bit less attack power than the Holy Judgment. But it does, obviously, have Water Elemental Attack. I feel really dumb for giving that up. Uh, we're going to have her cast Barrier on me as well. Because if I can get lucky enough here with uh, a Water Field here, I'll be able to get... There we go, some Aqua Protection there. Now that uh, Physical Defense will stay in effect until uh, I die. So I'm going to try my best not to die here. And that it means not getting wrecked by this guy. Uh, stunning him is very easy because he's a big target. He's got to do a bunch of hits. And Tempest is your best friend for doing a bunch of hits. And Sword Rain Alpha obviously helps too because it's a bunch of hits. But yeah, blocking. I got. Oh yeah, by the way, I also have on Force Ring, which reduces physical damage by 20% here. So that plus Barrier, which I think is 10%, and blocking. The guy still did 600 damage. This guy can hurt. You don't want to be free running, by the way, when he hits you either, because that uh, free running makes it so he automatically gets a critical. He will wreck your face, so you got to be careful with the free running. Use it only when necessary, really. I use an over limit right now. I shouldn't be messing with him. 
Ugh. That tail move, I don't know if you noticed that, it knocked down my guard, too, so. This guy's a tough, uh, oh, she got the nightmare off, it stunned him. Nice. I don't know why he used Demon Fang, that was really dumb. I don't, no, I don't have the, uh, the water arcane art of guys, so it's not a big deal. I'll just keep using sword right now, but it's really good. Oh, he's gonna start shooting fire at me now. Oh no, he just lands. He, I'm pretty sure he does a one where he flies up in the air and shoots uh, fire at you. There, eat some eternal quake, and we'll over limit here, knock him down here. There, oh, look at this combo. Oh man, that was beautiful. We can get away from that tail attack. Tail whip. Alright, I'm running out of TP here, so I gotta take it easy here. Uh, he's gonna Is he gonna crash into the ground again? Yeah. See, I don't mind having Natalia here, because she's just doing some nice damage, and she's got healing as well. Uh, what I should do here is... I wanna cast Scare Shot on him again. Lower his defense. Stun him with that absolute. Absolute is a great move for stunning. I don't know. It just seems to have like really high priority for stuns. So I don't know how long scare shot lasts, but uh, I figure it was probably over by then. So that's why I use this now. Oh, and oh, Jade. No, 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 no. Jade's out of magic. I didn't realize that. Okay, we need to get Jade out of there. So I'm gonna forcefully move him and hope guy doesn't die in the process. And Natalia's dead. That's not good. Alright, let's lure him over here a bit. And he doesn't want any piece of me. He just, he just wants tear, so this is bad. Okay, come on. Come after me! Dang it. Come on, come after me, brah. Oh, healing wind, nice. Okay, now he's shooting fire. I knew he did. I mean, that makes sense, right? Obviously, he's gonna shoot fire. Alright, he needs to get over here and, and look at me. Alright. I, I can get, like, way out of range of his fire shot. Oh, man! He crashes in the ground, too, when he gets back. I did not realize that. Right, I gotta be careful here. Alright. Yeah, of course it's dangerous to use so many items. And speaking of, you need to use one, too, because you're... You know what, I'm just spamming pineapple gel, I don't have to worry about any of that. The problem is, is he's focused on Natalia now. I need to get her out of the way. Ooh! Ooh, that hurt! Get up, guy! Get up! Ah, oh, you're about to get wrecked, Natalia. And I, I don't know why I did that. Alright, let's get Natalia out of here. Alright, now... He's pretty focused on me now. I don't know what he's doing now. Whoa, he's shooting fire. Okay. This is pretty easy now because he's kind of doing these attacks where he's just kind of making himself go up in the air. And Natalia keeps moving towards him. Stop doing that. Why would you do that? We gotta have him almost dead. He's at 42,000. It is getting tougher now because... Like, he's, a little, he's got a little more unpredictable attacks. I mean, it's predictable. If he flies up in the air, he's doing one of two things, but... I need to bring him down before he starts doing some really big damage here. Oh, what, I stunned him. Take advantage of that. Alright, I got over limit here. I can... I can be a little more aggressive with over limit, because I'm not going to take nearly as much damage. So I'm not too afraid. But over limit's almost over, so I gotta be a little more careful. Alright, I need a pineapple gel. Whew. And so does Jade. We'll use one on Jade first. Uh, because obviously I don't need it immediately. But now I'll take one. And now we'll get him to kinda lure him this way a bit. Because he's in over limit right now, so I can't really do anything to him. I mean, there's no point in even attacking him, I'll do like no damage. Really doesn't last very long. Man, that hurts. This aqua protection? Like, I haven't died yet. I'm not planning on it, but it's been very helpful. Alright. Okay, he's doing his tail whip. I'll gladly just tempest him again. See, come on. 
You gotta get those stuns off. There we go. Problem with Sword Rain Alpha after Tempest is it kind of has a startup delay, so it doesn't keep the combo unless someone else is hitting him. That's a problem. Oh, good if I didn't critical guard there, I was probably dead. And he's dead. Whoa, wow. Okay. Didn't quite expect that. It only took seven minutes, but man, that fight, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. I had everything under control there. I was kind of just... I was being tactical, using the proper spells. I probably could use Scare Shot a little more, but that Aqua Protection probably helped me win that fight, especially with the Force Ring. Reducing damage by 30%, like, that's pretty good. Oh, that would have been nicer to have earlier. Guard Plus, if I'm not mistaken, just decreases the damage you take when you're defending, so that would have been nice to have. Uh, either that, or it increases the damage that that Guardian reduces. That might be it too. Man, guys learned a lot of stuff. Let's make some noodles. I feel kind of bad for it. Yeah, we were the ones to come into its home uninvited. I'm concerned for Ion's safety. Let's move on. Yeah. And the game doesn't even give me like a save point or anything. Why would I do that, right? Did you just go in here? I guess so. I think this is it. Like, uh, I think there's a cutscene coming up here. I don't need... oh, okay, there are more monsters. I don't think there's like a lot left though. I'm gonna. I'm pretty much just gonna avoid them though. There's no real point just taking them on. Eh, maybe there is. I'm pretty sure there's not much left here. I'm. Yeah, this is it here. The cutscene should be. Yeah. It... This, we were actually in the screen before. This is uh, when we first came here. This is where we arrived at. So, Slightly familiar territory, although we weren't over here. Alright, guys. It's time for some very important gutscenes. Check and see if there's any treasure I missed. Which will ultimately lead to the downfall of Aldrin. ND 2019. The forces of Kimlaska Lanvaldir shall march northward through the Rubnica Plains. After inflicting atrocities upon the villages in their wake, the army shall surround the fortress capital. Within a fortnight, the city shall fall. The Kimlaskan army will stain the Malku throne with the blood of its last emperor. Their howls of victory shall resound throughout the land. ND 2020. A mountain of corpses shall bury the fortress capital. Death and disease shall envelop the city. The plague born thence shall become a new poison unto humanity, killing all within its reach. Its spread shall mark the true end of Malkuth. Kimlaska shall enjoy decades of prosperity as the plague of Malkuth grows. Ultimately, the plague will be brought into the Kimlaskan kingdom by a single man. You... you! Stop it, Ion! You have to stop! The light of the sacred flame shall approach a Kimlaskan city of phone machines, seeking a way to purify the taint. There, salvation shall be found through the use of a forbidden power. Ion, are you okay? Luke, that was my reading of the score for you. A single path. Among your many possible futures. I know you don't depend on others, but this was the only way I could help you. Shut up! You've helped us out a million times! And you'll keep helping! Luke, don't look at me like that. There are plenty of replacements for me. How can you say that? Those other replicas don't know me at all! You're the only Ion that went to the Chigal Woods with me. Tear, come closer. I will take the miasma from your body into my own. But Phone Master, you'll... I told you before, there's only one way to save you. The seventh phonons are drawn to one another. As my own seventh phonons dissipate, so will your contaminated ones. Ion! Don't you see? This way. Tear is safe. Ion, you 
don't have to watch over me anymore, Annis. I'm so sorry, Ion. I... Thank you for everything I most cherished. best replica of the bunch, and even he couldn't read the score properly. Score, score, score! Is that the only thing you can think of? The score isn't worth a damn! Preposterous fool! The score is crucial to mankind's continued survival! Mankind can get by just fine without it! It promises prosperity for all! What possible reason could we have to ignore it? I am a watcher. I have been charged with protecting and guiding humanity. I swear I will use these replicas to bring about war as foretold in Yulia's score. Therein lies our only path to salvation. What should we do? These are civilians. Fighting them would be far too... Those people won't harm you unless someone directs them to. I can swear to that. Please, allow Grand Maestro Moes to leave unharmed. They'll back down peacefully if you do. But... He's escaped. There's nothing we can do now. Still, to think that so many replicas have been created... It must have been the result of Fomacry data Van left behind. There's no way they could have made replicas of the people of Hod without it. We can investigate this later. For now, let's escort Annis' parents to Doth. Annis, that's all right with you, I presume? Yes. Arietta, if you move around, your wounds will reopen. You killed him! Annis, you killed Ion! Please, wait. It's only because Mose has taken us hostage. Papa, be quiet. Yeah, I did. Want to make something of it, Gloomietta? Ion helped me so much. This is beyond avenging Mommy, Annis. I'll avenge Ion, too. Annis, I challenge you to a duel. Accepted. Annis! I have to finally settle things with her. I'll send someone to tell you the time and place later. And I'll never forgive you if you run away. Annis, a duel? This is foolishness. Can't you talk about this? I'm sure Arietta would understand. Mama, be quiet. But Annis... Shut up! Wait! Annis! Let's split up and look for her. Yeah. Man. That scene before this one? Oh man, the first time I saw that, I was like, no, Ion. That actually gave me chills, like, watching it now. Like, it's still, it's like, Ion's gone. <laughs> like, I know he's not a main, char main character in terms of fighters, but he's a main character. He's dead. <laughs> That's why I kind of wish that he was a playable character, because it would have been so much more of an impact losing him as a fighter. But, uh, he's not. <laughs> but, I mean, I understand why he's not a fighter, because it wouldn't make any sense, because he's like a frail body and everything. But I, f I feel like he could have been, like, as a mage or something. It could have been done. They could have done it, is what I'm saying. The Tales of the Abyss um, 3D remake, maybe they could have done that in it. But they didn't. <laughs> Alright, um, so I kind of need to save it here because we're quite a bit in. I know this is like a landmark 100 video and everything, but, uh, I really need to get going here. But I guess I'll just do this until I get to a save point, because it'd be dumb just to end it here. Because then I gotta keep recording too, so. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone to talk to up there or not, but maybe there's someone down here. Just those people. I think actually if you go up to Ion's room, that might be where you actually have to go, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. 
Oh no, uh, you have to. You have to go up here. I don't know where Natalia is. I think she's in. Uh... She's either with Annis or in this library here. I'm gonna check the library first. Cause honestly, I don't remember. I I don't know. I thought Natalia was in Ion's room. Maybe she's just chilling in here. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, she might be with uh, Annis. And if she's not, then she is in Ion's room. And it's just a little bit of dialogue that we'll miss. It's not a big deal. I don't think Natalia's outside anyway. I don't think you can even leave. I don't think it'll let you. There's Annis there. Is Natalia there with her? No. So yeah, I guess Natalia is probably in Ion's room. So, you were out here. Look, everyone's worried about you. Oliver and Pamela, too. Don't talk to me about them. Come on, Annis, you couldn't have done anything differently. He was holding your parents hostage. No! I was lying to Ion from the very start. Mose ordered me to report everything Ion did. Trying to stop the war, spending time with you guys, I reported it all. Annis, that's all... Listen! The attack on the Tartarus, the ambushes by the six god generals, it's all my fault! Wasn't that all because you were worried for your parents? Papa's pretty gullible, right? When I was really little, he got scammed for a ton of money and got deep into debt. Mose bailed him out. Since then, my parents have worked for the cathedral without pay. I... I couldn't disobey his orders. I know. I hated it all along. Ion was so trusting, it really hurt to have to lie. Yeah. But I... I loved Mama and Papa. Annis, you did the right thing. It wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. I... I... I killed Ion! Poor Ion. It's all my fault. And now he's dead! Annis, here, take this. I picked it up in Mount Zalejo. It's a fragment of the phone stone from the score Ion read. Ion's phone stone? What are you going to do now? Do you want to stay in Da? No, I'm going with you. I think that Ion would have wanted to help you if he had lived. Thanks. Let's head back and see everyone then. It appears you've calmed down a bit. Yes, Colonel. I'd like to stay with you all and think about what I should do from here on. Stay strong, Annis. What should we do next? It would be hard to pursue the score further until the order has been restructured. And we don't have the first clue about where to search for Ash. I... I'd like to put Ion's final reading of the score to use. You mean that bit about finding out how to clear away the miasma in Belkind? You're right. Ion sacrificed everything to give us that clue. I agree. That's all we have to go on at the moment. That said, we will have to deal with this issue eventually. We stopped Van's vision of a world where the score can't be read. But it's not as if we fully support the score either. Once things have settled down, we should hold a summit about what to do with the score. Yes, you're right. Alright, we finally get to, like, do stuff. I guess we could read over this Annis, like, skit, because, uh, I want to say it's pretty, uh, important. And I feel like... It's just about Annis. Man, Annis went through a lot. She's not only like, what is she, like 15 or 14? or She's like really young regardless. And like, she had to do all that. Like even that scene with her like crying in, like, in the cathedral there. Like, it's really like emotional. Like, you, she's genuinely upset. Alright, we don't gotta... I know this is all important and stuff, yes. Ion is dead, it is bad. I'm still skipping skits. Um, on a less, like, kind of sucky note, 
Um, unfortunately, now that Ion is no longer with us, uh, you can't use Luke's Ion um, Mystic Art extension anymore. Because, well, you know, he's dead. I know that's not a really good note to end on, but uh, fortunately I have to. Um, I believe there's actually some side quest stuff we can do now, now that events have changed. So, I'll see what I can do for next time, but thank you for watching this basically very monumental uh, Tales Part 100. Very important stuff happened. And I'll see you guys next time for Part 101. Yeah, that's right, we're not done yet, so... Till next time, I've been Odin Spack 33 and see you later. Bye now.